Within this video, we're going to be talking about the panorama tools here inside of Twinmotion. Now, there are a couple of different kinds of panoramas and panorama tools that are in here. So one might work well for what you need, and the other one might not work at all for you. So let's go ahead and cover them and see which one works best for you. To get this started, we're actually going to need a panorama shot. So to do that, we're just going to come down here in our little media area, and we're going to go ahead and choose panorama. So I'm going to click this here. And you can see there's a couple of them in here in this default one, but let's go ahead and just create a new one anyways. And really all you need to do is just place your camera where you want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and just start way out here over the water. So we have a big area behind us, but then we actually have the island right here in front of us. So all I need to do is then hit click the create pano, and now we have our new panorama shot right here. So how do we get this out of twin motion? Well, that's actually pretty easy. We'll just come down here to the very bottom where it says export. And we're going to come into our panorama area right here. And I can choose which ones I actually want to send out. I'm going to go ahead and just unselect all these and just create one out of the last the one that we created here. And you can also filter these up here too. Like maybe you don't want to see the path tracer ones. You just want to see the raster ones or vice versa. Once you've got that selected, all you have to do is just move off this window. And it'll disappear and then come down here to this start export. And then you need to say where you want this to actually export. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the cardinal sin and save this to the desktop. So we'll go ahead and just say select folder and it's going to take a minute and I will be back as soon as it has finished. Our next step is to actually open up said panorama. So since I saved it on my desktop, I'm just going to move this over. There's my pano one. So if I go ahead and just double click on this, you see, I now have this panorama shot, which doesn't do a whole lot of good in something that's two dimensional, right? So let's put this in something that's three dimensional. So if you jump onto the interwebs and do a quick search for sphere map viewer online, uh, this is the first one that popped up for me. So let's go ahead and click on that. And in here, let's go and just move this down. I can drag said panorama into here. There we go. Now we can actually see our panorama. So you can see this is the same thing that we saw inside of Twin Motion. Now what's great about this is that it's just a single image. It's very easy to transfer from one place to another. So if you've got a student who's got a whole bunch of images, it's a lot easier to move that around than maybe an entire project. So this makes it really, really simple. And you can also use these inside of 3D programs as like backgrounds too. So this is great. You just create a giant sphere and then map this to the sphere. It's super, super helpful. All right, so for the next one, let's talk about the panorama set. So again, we need to actually create a panorama set. So to do that, just go into your media section and you'll see that there's a panorama set over here. Now a set is a whole bunch of actual just single panoramas. So let's go ahead and just open that up. You can see there are already two of them in here, but let's go ahead and just create a new one anyways. I'm gonna just click right here to create a new set. And now I'm in a completely different view and there's a little button right here that's gonna say, hey, which pieces, which images do you actually want to be part of this set? So just click on that. And I have this whole set of options up here. So if I just grab, let's say, I don't know, these three, these first three right here, and we can just drag these in here, boom, like that. Now we have a panorama set. So let's go ahead and close this down. And if I click on each one, you can kind of see where this panorama set was actually set up for each one of these, right? So inside the building, so this is good to go. Then I can go ahead and come all the way back into our uh, export down here and I can come to my panorama set and be like, hey, what I want to do is grab the last one I just created and now if I come down to export, I can go and export this up. Now this is a cloud function, so this is going to be uploaded to an actual account on the Epic servers. So just kind of keep that in mind. And this does take quite a while to do, so I'm going to go ahead and in true cooking fashion, I'm going to go ahead and just show you what that looks like. So as it's actually uploading, you will get a prompt to go directly to the Twinmotion cloud, which is where I'm at now. You just click on that and it'll take you directly to wherever it is that you've got your set going. So as a student, you're like, okay, well, this is the set that I actually want to submit. Or as an instructor, maybe it's like, oh, this is the set that I actually want to have my students see. We'll go ahead and choose whichever one it happens to be. There's a couple other presentations down here. This top one is a panorama set. So we'll just be using this one at the top. And over here on the right, there is a Twinmotion like link that you can send right? So like, cool. This is what I want the students to see. This is what my teacher needs to see what I'm working on, right? You can generate a password for it. Check this whole thing out, right? So all you have to do is go ahead and just click on this so you can actually preview it and then click over here so you can actually then preview it. So I'm going to open that up. It's going to take just half a second. And now you get a prompt to talk about how to get from one place to the next. It's pretty simple. It's just like a side of twin motion, but that's cool. I'll just left mouse click and drag and you can see I can kind of look around where those cameras were set up here inside of this set. So what's going on here is that if I let the camera sit for just a second, you'll notice that I get a couple of little circles here. And if I click on one of these, it'll actually zoom me over to that location. And now I'm in a new spot, which is great. 
Over here on the right hand side, if we open up our little tab here, uh, we can actually jump to each one of these this way as well, which is really nice. That's very cool. And you can go backwards and forwards through them as well. So there you go. That is how you can get a panorama set or just a simple panorama out for submissions or to give to your students.